He had these trees pr transported from Disneyland to... With the lights. <laughs> with the lights. These are the original <laughs> lights uh, about a year ago. And they were transplanted and had to be managed for approximately uh, six months Aww. for them to take root here on, on the grounds. Wow. So this is one of three this trees that he has on his property from it's Disneyland. They were planted trees. in... Uh, planted in 19, I believe, 55. And the trees at that time were already full grown and they were turn of the century trees because Dis Walt Disney wanted these trees to be accurate the with the time. time. Oh, yeah. wow. Three trees that I have from Disneyland's hub that were here, you know, installed at Disneyland, we believe in February of 1955 because I've got a photograph taken in February and they are in. So that was like five months before the park. And opened. these are the actual trees? Yeah, the one that we're looking at right now is in front of Fantasyland. So it's on the side where the uh, little horse car stopped and uh, looking Is it at where the, the Snow White Grotto is? It's on that, it's it's in the hub. And yeah. it's, if you're looking at the castle, it would yeah. be on the east side towards the Snow White side of the castle. Okay. The other one over there was in front of Tomorrowland. And if you were looking at Tomorrowland, it would be on the Plaza inside of Tomorrowland wow. looking that way. And then the third one is the popcorn cart tree, which is on the other side of the house. So all the lamps are the originals. They are Lionel Train uh, bulbs from the 50s. And oh. Disneyland never upgraded them. They just replaced them. Yeah. So uh, that's what I did too. I found a guy in Kentucky that sells the bulbs. He said, well, them there, I only sell them a hundred a piece, you know, and he said, I said, oh, great. <laughs> what are they? And he goes, well, them's 24 cents, so that's going to run you $24. <laughs> and I said, well, you know what? I'll take 200. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. so. Wow. So. Beautiful. And it was quite an event moving them. They had the world's largest crane up here, which oh. ruined the street, and I just got it paved again because I had big dents in it. Yeah. And, uh, wow. but uh, they now are doing really well. They've got the, se the little, um, they have the little seeds on it. What? I was gonna move motion okay. to walk this way before it gets too dark. Oh yeah. 16, standing right here with my aunt in front of it. And you can line that picture up with the tree and it's exactly, you know, there it is. That's incredible. And what's amazing is they told us they had to go because they'd grown too big. And in that picture, it's actually bigger because the, the branch that you can see is sawed off there was still in place, uh, you know, when, back when I, when I uh, had that picture taken in the 60s. Oh my goodness. Wow. They were 75 years old when they were planted, so they're now about 125. Oh. Isn't yeah. that amazing? Yeah. yeah, it is. So I would say they're the most photographed trees in the world, you know. <laughs> But I think I can make that claim when you figure every day, you know, people. Oh, yeah. Millions. And I was just so mad when they took them out. And, you know, I don't understand why Julie picked um, Pyrus, because that is a real solid tree. Yeah. And when you look at these, see, they're all lacy. So if you were standing here under the tree, you could watch the fireworks still and still get a view. Whereas these things are as dense as that tree over there, where you're never going to see through them, you know. So I don't, I don't understand that. The toad car there is one of the 13 original toad cars from Disneyland uh, that was there in 1955. So we've all probably ridden in it. So that's from, that's from 55. Yeah, and they replaced them with fiberglass ones. Tony showed it to Darren last year. That are a little bigger. Yeah, this right here. Where's Figment? This He's slide, upstairs. The ball really oh. But it was funny, they right were, that yeah, was reproduced as part of this whole picture in the Disney News magazine. And they were about this, this big in the picture. Yeah. And I got a letter from a lady that said, are those the squirrels from Journey, from a, a World of Motion? You know? I said, yeah, they are. And uh, so she was so thrilled because she said, you know, when they tore the ride out, I documented the whole thing. And for whatever reason, that picture didn't come out. And so I, you know, so I shot pictures of the squirrels. So. Well, Tony, tell them about the car, too. I did. Oh, yeah. okay. And that's another Kevin and Jody, the, the oh, toad. Oh, the yeah. And uh, the ones they do are on character, 
And then you look at the ones the that ones are not done. That that are, right. They're horrible. Like this. And I were looking at them, we're like, Sleeping oh, Beauty is, is terrible. <laughs> and, oh, oh, the yes. one at Disney Anna? Yeah. Yes. yeah. You could tell the difference. Yeah. yeah, so when they get one, they do it perfect. And, and the next one they're doing is, um, I don't I don't want to buy it because it's not me, but it's perfect as the auctioneer from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw felt, that. They put uh, outfit. And yeah. Everything. Wow. Uh, so then this is the TV area. And that was a painting that I did when I was still working under Claude Coates. And Claude had painted most of the most important backgrounds from uh, Pinocchio and on and on up through Lady and the Tramp. And uh, so I asked him to, you know, give me guidance in how to do it. And I, I, I was ambitious with that and then I never have done anything again. It was like too much work. <laughs> you know, but I wanted to say I could do it and then, okay, I'm done. done. I never want to do that again. Yeah. And I don't know, today I don't think anyone's ever going to learn those techniques because it's, it's all in the computer. Yeah. You know, and it, it has a look of being in the computer too. It's, mm. Did you see yeah. how great the cat looks? I know, I love the cats. I know, that. really. <laughs> it is, it's a perfect shape. Little so one. anyway, this it. is um, a model that John Stone, who's no longer with the company either, did as a labor of love for every, mm. everyone in the team that was... Oh, he made multiples? Yeah, he made 10 for oh my God. people oh. working on it, which is more work than wow. you can imagine. But oh, it's kind of neat because this is the rolling ballroom, and if you look, he's even got the ball uh, rolls in unison with this thing. Wow. You know? So. Yeah. So the ball, does the, the ball, ball actually moves. stays in no, place? No, the whole it room moves. moves. See, isn't that an amazing You keep going yeah. forward, yeah. don't you, Tony? Well, let me, I turned when, around one time and you kept going when forward. When you're coming around this corner, you're catching the reset of the room. So what that does is makes it seem like you're going twice as fast. And then when he says uh, stop, it has reached the end. And then he goes back up, back up, and then it moves in this direction. To open it up to go and down, then right? it's, yeah. So the car never backs yeah. up. No. It's actually it's always moving. Terrific. That is such an illusion. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's like great. A totally Because you feel there. like you're going backwards. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's, that came to me from being in a car wash where you sit in your car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, oh. you feel like you're... And you feel like you're... Going yeah, going you go, wait a minute. Yeah. I, maybe I'm yeah. still in <laughs> yeah. gear. Yeah. I, my four-year-old uh, four nephew, we were in the car. He was... Con just this weekend. We're going backwards, and he said, no, we're not. And he goes, yeah, we're going backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Head of Mara. As you, wow. That's great. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah. Now, where are the doors? And the three doors? The three doors are downstairs in this. And the model is getting kind of sticky. Oh, don't. Oh, don't. No, it, oh, it looks like it'll come out. out. Isn't there that it goes. That is even in here now. Oh. There's oh, 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 and the doors. Wow. And then the whole thing broken. swings. Yeah, it slides. Oh, how did that slides. Break, but that, Tony? Well, because John makes things out of Pulse paper. Yeah. But it paper. slides like oh, this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Boy, yeah. it's really beautiful. Yeah. Wow. And then you go up the hill and right. look into That's the eyes. That's amazing. Right. Which is, yeah. which is there in the back there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. And then, yeah. And this is accurate to the track. I mean, it's it's in a nice square building. It's amazing how economical the space is. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And, got a lot you, going on you come up. Space. Indy well says, used. don't go this way. It's death. <laughs> You've got to escape to the right. You come out here. Into the mummies, right? Into oh, yeah. the bugs wow. across the bridge, into the snake wow. room. Oh, oh my god! And then so down well into the it um, it big skull. head, and then underneath it's that it's is the rest. all the end. And then there's oh, wow. the uh, mm -hmm. you know dart guys. Yeah. And then the rolling ball. Wow. Yeah. And then under that. there, I'm not going to pull it out because I know that room is stuck. But uh, is the uh, indie thing. You know, tourists. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I know that it is a production illustration from the movie, and it's just before she sings Super Cala Fragilistic. And what's neat about it, it's got the whole cast with the three horses over here, plus her horse and three, the, you know, Bert and two kids, and, and then a pearly band, and then the whole group. So it's sort of like the yeah. scene you never got to see in the movie right. because yeah. it's the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Wow. So, and it's consistent with all the other works, and then. Uh, the fact that it's on animation paper says yeah. to me that it's real. Oh, I know what I was going to show you while we were here, too. Was the, I'm going to take these upstairs because I'm going to get them out of here. This one 
And it's fading away because Josh did it in, on this thing. It's fading away, but oh. there's the olive tree. Oh, that's oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Fifteen cents. But it, this was crystal clear. It was. And Tony. it's like <laughs> just fading away. I mean, it's it's a perfect. The color and everything in, on the original is perfect. Was this picture in the Disney magazine? They cut it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. Because like I that. remember that mm -hmm. you, but yeah. I don't remember anyone else. Gloves, you know. Yeah, well, oh, the formal wear at Disneyland. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, and the popcorn was fifteen cents. So. Oh, that's wow. strange. How did they make? They still made money, you know. But you can see yeah. that tree hasn't grown. It was it was big then. Yeah, know? it was absolutely. Yeah. And I couldn't figure because this third branch is on it, and now it just has that one and this one. Right. Uh -huh. That's a huge yeah, it is. chunk to cut out. Yeah. It is, and to make it look so workable. Mm -hmm. I keep them where if it's somebody I don't want to see him, I you know I can hide him better hide him up here. here. Um, but he's getting oily, and I've got to find out what they clean him huh. with. You with don't the remember, rubber? What? Diane? You don't remember what you do to clean the oil off of those figures, do you? And the oil comes from what petroleum it and the material? It from the oh, material. Okay. All right. And it's huh. gross. Oh, it is <laughs> gross. <laughs> By the way, the new Pocahontas, have you seen it? With a scene added in it, it's great. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. the song, right? Yeah. 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 And the ending, they changed the ending too. Oh. You know, so. And I want the story behind it. Can yeah. You, tell? you can tell the story. Well, you tell it. You're such a, you're a better storyteller. We went to the auction at MGM, and I made, I got my raise when I went to WDI from Disneyland, so instead of making $2 an hour, I got to go up and design rides for three dollars an hour, a full dollar more. So I had a hundred dollars to go to that auction, and uh, we could only pick one thing that we were going to really focus on. And this one was mislabeled as a Greek stand, oh. and we knew what it was. And but then there was another guy that knew what it was and had bought uh, the other two. There was a a solid one and a one that was in horrible condition that had a perfect rubber glass. rubber. Yeah, it had a perfect globe. So he wanted to. He bought that one to take the perfect globe and put it in the other one, and he didn't want the wrecked globe, which this one is the wrecked globe. But the wrecked globe was in the one that was in the close-up shots, and the the, the paper mache model that you see here uh, was the one we believe Margaret Hamilton was able to pick up. This is shook. Yeah, because there's no way if that was real, you know plaster the way the other one was that you could even lift it. So, but it was in bad shape, so I, I rebuilt the whole thing. The top and bottom are balsa wood. And I really? noticed it's starting to warp again a little bit at the top uh, after 20 years, I guess. That's weird. But I had split the top about in eight places and then glued it back together flat because it had become just kind of a warped mm, Had warped thing, over you know? a period of time. And, uh, but I noticed that's back. That, it's not too bad. It's not too it's, bad, Tony, actually. It's a little warpy. You know. But anyway, so then I, I had a toy one there, but it's <laughs> removable. So uh, when we oh, went, swept through that, the house, was yeah, that, yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah, that's where it goes. That was so, a personal. You can imagine yeah, how cluttered definitely. this house is if, if you don't hardly notice all the stuff that's missing. But um, nonetheless, it is. And, and this was my. I think I'm the only one that likes it. Oh no, it was just shown in 70 millimeter in LA. Oh yeah? And it was amazing. Really? My favorite thing is coming up, it's almost Comic Con. Oh, yeah. And last year, I was looking at this, they had the original poster from Star Trek that Bob Peek had done. It was $6,000 and I kept looking at it and go, Six, that seemed like a fairly fair thing for the Star Trek poster, you know. The real one, the painting, the airbrush, all the, that rainbow effect with Kirk and all yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there it was, and I go, oh, geez. Right above it was this little thing, which was an original Drew Struson, you know, uh, pre-production mm -hmm. sketch of Indy in pencil. Oh, sorry. And so I, just, I looked at it and said, I don't care what the price on that is, I'm getting it. So I got that.